Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In today's session, let's learn about our new indicator plus screener called as Auto Harmonic Pattern Screener. And this is a screener implementation on harmonic pattern, meaning that you know it is meant to scan multiple symbols for harmonic patterns and alert the users. As you see here, the script is already loaded on the chat and you can see a dashboard having multiple symbols and it's highlighting which all symbols has a pattern, right? So, and if I go to a daily chat here, You can see that um, the BTC right now on daily chart doesn't have any patterns. You can see that there's no patterns. So the chart also doesn't show any patterns. But if you go to XRP USDT, there's a bearish pattern and dot USDT, there is a bullish pattern. So let's go to dot now. So dot USDT, if you go here and also make sure that you select the right, um, um, right uh, exchange or right uh, broker. Uh, if you select a, dot usdt of qcoin you may not find the same result right so whatever is present here on the dashboard you have to select the same thing so if you go to dot usdt of binance you can see that there's a small pattern here and that's what it's showing here so there's a current pattern on dot um, that's been reflected here but if you go to um, xrp usdt you can see a big um bearish pattern it's pretty big and also it's already been paused so you can also see if you uh, hover on the screen you can see that risk rewards towards the end so risk reward is all uh, very small means the pattern al already has already elapsed a lot and um, you know there's not much left in this pattern but it's still showing because it just shows whatever pattern is present on the current uh, current chart so it is not guaranteed to show after certain bars for example if you take um, btc usd here it doesn't show any pattern because it's not it's not showing any pattern here but if you enable auto harmonic pattern ultimatex you can see that there's a pattern here right so this can happen because um, the price would have formed another pivot here and it may not be scanning this uh, this combination anymore. It is uh, the the script is supposed to only scan the last pivot, right? That's how it has been done uh, from the last pivot. So that's why it, there is no um, uh, there is no another pattern here. Like you know, the, this pattern is not showing in the screener, right? But you can see that um, XRP USDT also has um, further pivot. We'll go here. Can see that this is also like it has formed another pivot here here and all um, but look at it this is actually a bigger pattern and uh, since our algorithm is based on recursive zigzags for example what it does is forms a big base zigzag like this and then forms zigzag on top of the base zigzag so that's why um, this is a this pattern may belong to a higher zigzag or um, multiple level zigzags and the next part next pivot for this particular zigzag hasn't formed it that's why it is uh, it's still showing it but it may not be, it may not be long um, if the price reverse or price uh, go further down it may form a new pivot and it may consider it as um, you know uh, it may stop showing this pattern but anyway the point here is that any pattern we need to be and uh, we need to get notified when it is first formed right that's the point of this so after certain bars it may need to be it may be there it may not be there it doesn't matter so you can always go back to auto harmonic pattern ultimatex uh, and to study the patterns in uh, you know in in more depth right um so that's the brief about um the how, how the visuals of the screener will work on the chart uh, let me go back to btc usdt and one hour chart here um right so there's a pattern here the small pattern it's already running okay so now let's go get deeper into the the settings of the indicator um if you go here there are options to set your own symbols so right now i've set binance um top 20 crypto symbols uh, you can change that to forex or um, stocks or even the crypto belonging to different um exchange etc right and uh, zigzag settings it's uh, zigzag is a basic building block for any uh, pattern recognition skills so 
it highly whatever the settings you do here it highly impacts how the patterns are uh, scanned or the characteristics of the pattern scan make sure that this zigzag length and depth are same as what we have in auto omnic pattern ultimatex so that these two scripts will be sync and it will help you study um, you know in a better way right the next um, next ones are uh, the base basis for calculation of um, entry target and um, you know stops levels so in automatic patterns actually we have multiple stops here configured so there's like target well not multiple stops sorry multiple targets configured there's one stop entry and then target one two three four um, here it is uh, represented as percentage but over there it is represented as ratio so 30 becomes 0 0.3 there zero is zero so if you look at here um, the same thing is presented here as well zero is the stop 0.3 is entry and 0.618 the first target we have set only one target here because this script is not really for tracking the pattern so one is it's just for indication of um, like you know the pattern has come up and all these things so we just kept one target here um, you can set it to whatever you want um, but what we have set as default is target one of the art harmony pattern ultimatics right similarly um going further there are a few other options like error percent error percent is for uh, scanning the ratios uh, and also there's a new option which we have added uh, in both the script called as uh, uh, strict scanning mode strict scanning mode means um, like um, the sum patterns will have a ratio ranges like you know for xab ratio should be like 0 0.382 to 0 0.618 something like that in some cases you know it will be like just one ratio it's like 0 0.618 so strict scanning means that it will not apply the error ratio error threshold when there's a range already like you know when there's a range of 0 0.382 to 0 0.618 we'll only look for 0 0.382 to 0 0.618 that's a strict check right and but we lose still use the error percent um when there's a single ratio mentioned like if xab ratio has to be 0 0.618 it's very difficult like you know it was very difficult to be exactly 0 0.618 so what we do is we add plus or minus 0 0.618 to um uh, plus or minus 0 0.8 percent or three percent whatever the configured error percent is there we'll add that to the 0 0.618 range ratio range which is uh, given for the pattern so um, in general we do it for both the ranges and um, you know and single ratio uh, checks but when you men when you check the strict ratio scanning it will only do for single ratio and for ranges it will ignore the error ratio right and uh, scan only for current bar so that means that right now the pattern has formed a little bit um, a, a pattern is already formed and the bar has elapsed a bit so but it's still showing it because there's still a last pivot right so when you when you make the uh, case as like strict um as not strict uh, scan only for uh, current bar it also makes sure that the current bar index is same as the d bar index otherwise it will not show the pattern right so that's where um, this setting will come into the picture uh, this is specifically used for alerts maybe um, when you're setting the alerts once the fire pattern is formed you don't want to keep getting the alerts for the same pattern right so you only want to get the alert when there's a pattern formed um, and then then you take care of the pattern yourself by going into the you know, going into it individually and all these things um, but don't want to get the alerts for them again and again so that's where it can be very handy <clears throat> okay so coming going further um, lock scale uh, we can use lock scale for scanning and targets the same settings are also there for auto harmonic pattern um, ultimatex here um, I think where it is somewhere not here at the top I believe yeah, scanning and targets so the same settings are copied here as well um, most of the settings you'll find them same because um, the nature of scanning the patterns is same uh, the only thing which is different here is um, in the screener we scan for multiple um, symbols whereas in automatic pattern ultimatex we scan for one pattern uh, we scan for one symbol and we go deep into studying that like you know we collect information such as uh, risk reward win ratio how many bars each pattern has elapsed and uh, you know um, how many of them 
um, like reached the entry and then came back to uh, retouch the entry or retest the entries and all these things. You know, if you look at this dashboard here and the, um, you know, tool tips, uh, you get lots of information on each of these patterns, right? And also the current patterns in trade, you'll also see what is the live um, risk reward, what is the risk reward, trailing risk reward, and all these things. You know, you get lots of information in the script, but automatic pattern screener is not in it to give all those information. It is job of this of a script is only to scan as many symbols as possible and show the current patterns. Right. Um, and going further, yeah, we also have different category of patterns and uh, different individual patterns. Right now, the classic patterns and anti patterns are enabled, but non standard patterns here they are disabled. And it's same as what we have in the atomic pattern ultimate attacks as well. Uh, you can check further, you can study further and include the patterns of your choice. So if you want to include one or some of these patterns, what you need to do is you need to check this and probably uncheck the ones which you don't require and um, like, you know, check only the ones which you want to study and all. So if you disable this, I think none of, the, none of these patterns will be considered, right? So if you disable this, everything is gone. So even if you check at not check, it won't matter. So once you disable this, now this will be considered. Okay, um, the stop entry in this one we already mentioned, position. So screen display, we can display the screen in uh, multiple positions, um, uh, the dashboard screen. So uh, it's set, uh, set to bottom right here because uh, it can go along uh, well along with um, what we have for autonomic pattern antimatics because uh, it already occupies bottom left and uh, top right here. So uh, this can go well here. So otherwise, you know, every time you load the scripts together, you need to change the um, position and all. So to make it simple, we have kept it here. You can use it as is, or you can shuffle them both to have it wherever you want. Okay, so further, going further, um, so also this is another interesting feature here um, you can also um, choose your layout of how this dashboard needs to be um, presented for example if you have a mobile screen uh, if you show five by four um, layout you know it may cover all your mobile screen so in star it may not show all the details so instead what you want to do is you want to put everything in a um, you know one column you can just put it like this so that you see everything together and even in mobile screen you will see it um, you know without any issues so there are a few options added here um, based on based on that you can set your layout um, how you want to see them this one sorry <clears throat> yeah so and also the size of the um, contents in the table you can also increase or decrease them based on your um, screen size or uh, the device which you're using for the script and all these things okay um coming further like screener and alert settings so this is a screener if you hover on them you can see that this is a bit of information you can see them here um, this is actually a json format for example you can see that uh, it's a curly braces and uh, outer um, square brackets and all uh, that's that's a array element of a json um, and inside that the object contains certain uh, uh, fields like patterns direction entry stop targets and all these things so these values and pad these things what you show here you can choose them um, from this box here so you can also choose like prices and pivots so it means that what is the pivots of um, pivot bars of uh, each of the patterns being shown it will also show that so you can see that it's a bit messy because there are a lot of values there so i've kept it away for now uh, and so it's also not so useful um, that's why you know it's not doesn't need to be included but if anyone is interested you can add them to the um, list of things to be displayed in the summary and also the same information will also go in the you know um, in the alerts can change from json to text format if you change it to text format you can see that um the the value which you see here will also be a simple text and not json 
right? Uh, this is simply for simplicity purpose, you can put this, but if you want to get the alerts, process them um, further in a, over a webhook and all these things, the JSON format will be um, very handy. Uh, unfortunately, there is not much kind of customization on, um, you know, um, the alert settings here um, like you know in autonomic pattern ultimatics we have a very um, extensive customization you can put anything you want here you can put any text and it will all come up in the uh, you know in, in the in your alerts in a in exact way how you how you configured it here uh, that option is not here because you know it's since it's uh, the alert you get for everything like you know when an alert is fired you get the alert for all the symbols and it has to be structured in certain way otherwise um it will it will not be uh, it will not be meaningful to read and all so that's why it has to be a predetermined format and it's there's not much flexibility on that and what are these each symbols like you know uh, all these values and all you can um, hover on the screen the tool tips and find out what are they and all these things right um Going further, and the next one is the display. And display is for the pattern display, how you want to display the pattern. Theme, it's again in the same as all my pattern related scripts. Uh, if you select dark theme, means if the chart background is dark, then you select a dark theme so that the pattern colors will be um, more, um, you know, feasible. Uh, it will generate the more feasible colors for the dark theme. And if you're using a light theme, use the use the light option here so that the pattern colors which are generated, it will be darker and it will be more visible in the light theme. Okay, and similarly targets, um, what all things you want to show here, um, that's listed here. Um, and what is the size of these uh, pivots and all these things, um, that's listed here as well. And uh, fills, like, you know, if you want to triangle fills just for the visual effect and all, um, there's just an option for them as well. And calculation window. So this is another uh, important um, thing. So for example, we have um, like, you know, uh, since I have premium uh, subscription, uh, I have access to 20,000 pass at max, right? So um, most of the, uh, most of the like you know if you are if you are non premium member like probably you have five thousand bars uh, but if you search if you scan for five thousand bars or twenty thousand bars it will be too much because it has to do for all um, all twenty symbols right so instead of that we can re, uh, you know we can um, choose to scan only for last thousand bars so that what we need is only a last pattern right we don't need a pattern for um, all like you know thousand bars in the previous um, previous historical patterns and all right so there is another script for that it's sort of harmonic pattern ultimatex which does that so we don't need to do that in the screener right so that's why this becomes an important thing it can impact your load time and also if you set it for a, for a higher value it will lead to some other issues such as um, you know, uh, some tickers will not have thousand bars. Some tickers will have uh, only five hundred bars. The new, newly formed ones and all. So you'll face some issues uh, related to those and all. So it's better to keep it this way at present, or uh, based on that, you can even lower it further, um, further lower that as well. Uh, it doesn't matter much, but if you increase further, it may cause some issues. Right? Just keep in mind. Um, and I think that's all for today. Uh, that's all about the new screener um, and come indicator uh, which we created. That's auto harmonic pattern screener, um, and um, and it's like uh, this tutorial um, is mainly intended for like to walk you through some of the settings and how you can make use of both auto harmonic pattern, ultimatex, and screener together and all. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you learned something from it. Let me know if you have any questions. Try out the indicator. I also, um, you can offer, you can avail a seven day free trial um, as well. Um, please let me know. Um, please I, um, use this indicator um, and share me, share with me your feedbacks on this. Um, what's good, what's bad, or if there's any perks, please don't hesitate to talk to me. Um, I'll try to fix them as soon as possible. Thanks very much for listening. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Bye.